Hello guys, and uh, this is Zach King back with another video, and today I want to start my series on um, basically uh, writing the Python or Wix Python uh, text editor that I made. And um, if you haven't seen this, there's a video on it that I just uploaded about a week ago, and uh, basically this is it. I'm gonna open a file so you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is a Python file feature syntax highlighting and code completion and um, and all that good stuff so uh, this video is actually not going to be any real code however because first of all uh, as you might have known already uh, Wix Python is a third-party module so we're going to have to install that so uh, I will provide a link to this in the description but if you would like you can simply uh, Google it so head over to Google and type in Wix Python, that's WX Python, all squished together, and then just search like, I don't know, download something. It should be like the first link. So it's wixpython.org, and you can click a download, but uh, the link will be in the description. Now, there's one thing that you have to download, and another that I would highly recommend. So, what you need to download is the Wix Python. Um, binary for uh, well for windows in our case that's what i'll be uh using this on obviously um, although wix python is cross compatible so it works on other operating systems so download the version for you um so i'm just going to do 32-bit python 2.7 uh, because i do everything 32-bit that way it's more cross compatible and um, uh, as far as I know, they have not released a Python 3 version yet, so that's uh, that's unfortunate, but we can deal with it. Now, I would highly recommend uh, go ahead and downloading the Wix Python demo for Windows. Now, what this is, is so you see it's actual executable, and it has a ton of very in-depth um, and useful Wix Python demo files that you can run, you can edit the code. And that's actually something that I'm going to be referring to a lot in the next videos. So please, please, please download that. And um, so yeah, so I've already downloaded this, but basically, yeah, you'll you'll uh, click it, and this is SourceForge. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And basically, yeah, you'll just uh, run the executable. And I don't think there's any in the in uh, in the installer because this is a binary, but. Um, just be sure to check for you know third-party uh, software things that they want you to install and stuff like that and uncheck the uh, the automatically check check boxes if they're there but I do not believe they're there so that should go through it's very very simple uh, actually I will um, I'll go through it just just to show you guys what the installer looks like um, so yeah let me just put this in my downloads folder so yeah, it's not very big. It's yeah, about 15, almost 15 megs. So yeah, uh, yeah. So basically, the way we're gonna test this is if you hold Windows and print the Windows key and press R, you can do that, or you can uh, actually, I don't know. I guess you, I guess you could go to your start menu for Windows 8, um, which a lot of people hate, but basically, open up Python or you can open it up command line, however you want to do it is cool and uh, what we're gonna do is try to import Wix so yeah I'll uh, I'll let that finish downloading okay and also guys while that's finishing up if you notice on my channel I redid my art so I've got a new looking avatar here and uh, and then I I did a pretty simple but kind of stylish uh, banner image so that's pretty cool I think it looks better than my old one but they're both hand drawn <laughs> well this one wasn't much drawn so anyway yeah you'll run it click yes of course alright so you're gonna go next accept this agreement and it should automatically find your uh, location for your Python you would click uh, 
next and then see now mine's gonna say it's already found so should I do it no but yours it will go ahead and do that so just let it go through now to test to see if you properly installed it start up Python you can do this in the idle as well and just do import Wix not Wix Python just Wix WX and if you do that in no errors good job and uh, you can also test the import wix.stc because we will need that for sure for these videos so uh, that is really it for this one so I hope you guys properly got it installed and if you did have any errors or trouble let me know in the comments and I will reach you uh, as soon as I can which most of the time is uh, not very long after you post it <laughs> so uh, yeah thank you guys for watching uh, and uh, yeah so have a good day cool see you guys in the next video thanks for watching